Everyone around campus has been buzzing about spring sports this semester. Now don't worry, sit back and relax because I'll be telling you all about the madness that happened this past weekend in March. I'm your favorite host, Daniela Machado, and you're watching In The Game. In the first round of March Madness, our Cougs took home a blowout win against Georgia State this past Friday. This is the second year in a row that our Cougs have won an NCAA tournament game, and it definitely wasn't our last win in this year's tournament. Our Cougs started out hot and took an early lead on an impressive 52% shooting. Our Cougs ended the first half leading 40 to 31. By the start of the second half, the game was already over because our Cougs opened up with a 10 to 2 run, sealing the win for Houston. Corey Davis scored seven three-pointers, contributing to his 26 points. Fabian White had 14, Brown Brady with 13, and Dejon Giroux put up 10. This win was also very important because it was the farthest U of H has come in the NCAA tournament since 1984. A couple days later on Sunday, we witnessed one of the most iconic moments in U of H basketball history. As the Cougs defeated Ohio State to reach the Sweet 16 for the first time in over three decades. During the first half, U of H was already showing Ohio who's boss, leading 39 points to their 31 points. Now the second half was in tense. The season was on the line and it was obvious that our Cougs were not going to let it slip out of their reach. The team finished the game 74 to 59, completely crushing Ohio State's chances of moving forward. Corey Davis scored a total of 21 points, Robinson 13 points, Fabian White scored 11, and Armani Brooks scored a total of 10 points. This marked the team's 33rd win. Next up, the Cougars will face the Kentucky Wildcats on Friday, March 29th. Make sure to root them on from home and rep all the red you can. Next, I'm going to talk about your Cougars baseball team. But first, here's Jayla Mason for an update on U of H swimming and softball. Thanks, Daniela. It's been a great season for Houston swimming and diving team. Not only have they secured their third consecutive conference title earlier this year, but their very own Peyton Contest has competed at the national level in the NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. By the end of the meet, Condes accomplished a career best in the 100 breaststroke with a time of 59.83. Along with this achievement, Condes picked up another career best and a program best with a 200 breaststroke with a time of 210.30. This past weekend, Cougar softball faced Wichita State in the conference opener. Off the bat in game one, Wichita State played with a strong offense, putting them up 9-0 by the end of the third inning. The Cougars fought back, scoring five runs of their own, but it wasn't enough to defeat the Shockers, as they fell 5-13. to Houston bounced back during the second of three games. By the first inning, the Cougars were up by two thanks to runs by Lindsey Stewart and Ariel James. After a shaky fourth inning, Wichita State took back the lead. By the end of the seventh inning, Houston fired up their offense with a hit from Rachel Hill resulting in two more runs. This put the Cougars at 5-4 to lead and gave them their first conference win. The last game of the series began with impressive offense from Houston with runs from Stewart, Sarah Barker, and Savannah Hebner, leaving the score at 3-0 by the end of the first inning. The Cougars never let up, adding four more points to the board, including the first home run of the season by Barker. Houston saw victory in the third game with a final score of 8-0, taking the series against Wichita State by 2-1. Now here's Daniela with more around the diamond. Thanks, Jayla. Batter up! This past weekend, the age-old Cats vs. Dogs went head-to-head -head once again with the U of H Cougars baseball team playing against the Connecticut Huskies. On Friday, the first three innings were scoreless, but UConn quickly scored two runs in the top of the fourth, sadly leaving our Cougs behind. During the seventh inning, Kobe Highland scored the Cougs' first run, making it 2-1 UConn, which was also the end score. Saturday was a big day for our baseball team because it marked the 11th win of the season. Right off the bat, <laughs> UConn scored three runs during the first inning, but the Cougs swung in and scored five runs in the fourth inning. During the fifth inning, the Huskies tried to catch up but couldn't and only made one run. The scoreboard ended in our favor 5-4. Lastly, for the series finale this past Sunday, the Cougs sadly felt short and lost to the Huskies 9-3. UVH was scoreless during the first inning while UConn scored a run. However, Derek Cherry quickly tied the game during the second inning. The ninth inning was scoreless for both teams, but UConn still had the lead. And even though our Cougars fought hard, they took a heartbreaking loss to the Huskies. 
Well, that's it for this episode. For more info on all U of H sports, check out uofhcougars.com. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to Coug TV and follow us on all your social media platforms. I'm Daniela Machado. Stay tuned and go Cougs.